Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video, which is my car boot sale from this morning's car boot. It is the 3rd of October today, and it's a very, very small haul. I only did one car boot, the other one simply wasn't on. I went to have a look, but it wasn't there. So I only did Easter Compton, and I didn't get a great deal, but I'm pleased with what I did get. Excuse my somewhat drained appearance. I've had a migraine all morning. It's passing now, but I'm tired. And, um, and I, I realised that I look a bit lived in. Firstly, let me show you these because they're not on the table. They are the Calax insert boxes, which I, oh, you can't see any in the, in the screen. Anyway, I use them in my Calax units to store clothes. The four coloured ones, so there's three pale green and one red, I will use myself. This one is the Ikea Rosalie print, and if it is not broken, which, hang on, bear with, when they break, it is the zips underneath that go. So look, this one is fine. So these have very good resale value because they're a discontinued print. So I have got two listed already. I will probably take that listing down and change it to a three because one on its own I think is less less exciting. But the other four are for me. Now I've also got some yellow floral ones which have good resale value so I'll take those out, replace them with these plain ones and then sell my yellow ones. I paid one pound each for those. Now when you buy them in Ikea they are less than three pounds per box anyway so that's not an amazing price to buy them but the Rosalie one will pay for all the others and obviously when you go to Ikea if, even if you only go for four Calax boxes you buy a lot more stuff while you're there, so I think I'm money I've saved by not going to Ikea and spending a pound on a second hand instead. So yeah, they will, I will sell the other ones, replace mine, and I will sell the Kath Kidston one along with my others. Did I say they were a pound each? I paid five pounds, obviously. I paid one pound for the pair on these vintage lampshades. We had one like this when I was a kid. We had a ceiling one. I believe these, these are much smaller. I don't think these are ceiling. I suppose they could be, but I think these are lamp rather than light shades. And they are mid-century, 70s kind of plastic. I seem to remember that ours became very brittle over time, but these ones seem to be okay. I don't know how much I can get for them. There is one listed at £28, but I think that's a larger one. I'd probably list them as a pair, and I really have no idea how much for, but maybe 40 or 50 maybe 40 i don't know i do need to clean them up they're mucky inside so that'll be a patient job with a paintbrush firstly to get the dust off and then maybe a wet wipe in the in the bits maybe i could just hose them down with the shower that might work anyway i paid one pound for the two and i don't know where to put them this one is slightly a disappointment because I wanted it for myself. It was a pound. It's a Fiorelli, which is not a massively expensive brand, but it's a phone case. Zip around. It's got slot in there for your phone, card slots, and then on the outside, as well as this little slip pocket, there's a little card thing that sits in there, and I really liked it. Wanted it for myself. However, sadly, my phone is a monster and does not fit in there. <laughs> my phone is about a centimetre and a half too large to fit in the case so I will be selling that on eBay instead. It's a shame, like I said I wanted it for myself but my phone is too big. That was a pound. Steve the car boot guy, I gave him eight pound for this selection of stuff here. So firstly we've got a monkey Matryoshka Russian doll. So each one is monkeys inside until you get to the middle, which I thought was a nice little touch, there's four dolls, four dolls, and trying to get to the middle. And inside, in the middle, a bunch of bananas. <laughs> I thought that was unusual. I've got a lot of Russian dolls in stock. Some have sold, some have not. I think possibly, although I know that some are worth picking up, I don't know which ones, <laughs> which is not helping. But yeah, this one, this one, he wanted five pounds for all. He had lots of Russian dolls today and I only bought this one. And he wanted five, so that cost me five. And then and then the other three things were a pound. I gave him eight pound altogether. So a Universal Studios Betty Boot mug. A Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen mug. I don't see these very often. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen mug. And some vintage camping melamine egg cups set of four of those they're not really a set of four because i think in a set one would be orange instead of having two yellows 
I think you'd have one blue, one brown, one orange, one yellow. But either way, I would sell them as a four. So that cost me eight pounds. The monkey Russian dolls on their own, they sell for about 14 to 15. So that will pay for everything else. It really is a small haul. You're not going to be here long today. Hope you haven't got too comfy. If you're using me as your excuse to do no work today, it's going to run out very soon. I picked up this wrist support for a pound because Anthony has a dodgy wrist at the moment. He couldn't find, Natalie couldn't find her wrist support to lend him. This is actually a really good one. I'm, I think I'm going to look it up on Amazon and see how much they normally are. 14 99 this wrist support would have cost 14 99 it cost a pound so um he'll be pleased with that because like i said he's been after one for a while and it's fully adjustable as well so that was a good buy i firmly believe that whatever you need it will turn up at the car boot so you just need to put it out there and the universe will provide this was an unusual one after i had bought it i realized that it ought to have a power supply which i did not get however i have a box of plugs and cables and i feel sure that we've got one of the power supplies it needs it's only a dc 5 volt for power supply so even if we haven't got one i can get one it is a dream egg white noise machine and it does have charge so because it was on at the car boot so So we've got birdies, bird song, and when I press this one, I think that's waves, isn't it? That one just makes me want the toilet. <laughs> That's um, the, the how this heartbeat sounds when you're in the womb. That's plainly a horror movie. <laughs> That's crickets or cicadas. Basically, it plays lots of relaxing ASMR, whatever kind of style things to help you get to sleep, if that's something that, that works for you. I paid two pounds and they seem to sell for anywhere between 20 and 40 depending on which one you've got so i need to check out if i've got a power supply for that and i'm pleased with that pickup if i have something a bit unusual at least i often see people on the charity shop groups that i'm on picking up these funny faces. you get celery pots and beetroot pots this one is pan scourer and he was 50p they are portuguese i can't remember i can't remember the name of the china but it's portuguese um touristy stuff and there are several of these listed for between 10 and 15 and he cost me 50p. I picked up a Christmas jumper for a pound because it is going to be Christmas jumper season. This one's just a Christmas pudding. I think it's Georgia Asda. It's Cedarwood State, which I think is Primark, isn't it? So there we go. Primark Christmas jumper. It was a pound. It'll sell. People buy Christmas jumpers. I got four folio books. Now the lady wanted four pounds each and I said to her, will she do all for 10? And she said, oh yeah, okay. Got quite quickly. So she was quite happy. I've got The Wind in the Willows. Great Fire of London, The Arabian Nights, and Han Christian, Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. I would hope to be able to sell each of them for between £10 and £30. I haven't researched all of them, but The Wind in the Willow should go for 20 on its own. They're all in pretty good nick. The, one of the cases is a bit nicked. The, um, there's a bit of a nick in the folio cover there. But they're beautiful books. If you've never looked at a Folio Society book, you don't know what you're missing. These are... It's just, these are Heath Robinson illustrations. So there we go, for example. This is Hans, Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales book. I remember reading this as a child, Hans Christian Andersen. Some of them, I mean, quite, quite a lot of them are very sad, actually. Most children's fairy tales are not happy. So yeah, please with those, four of those, four tenor. I would hope that tenor will turn into between 60 and 100. I can't be sure, but I hope so. And then my last pickup of the day, a 3,000 piece Waddington's jigsaw puzzle. These are cart horses in the Swedish Alps, aren't they? It's called ploughing. It's called ploughing, 3,000 piece puzzle. Um, two pounds, two pounds for that one. No idea on the value, but the bigger the, more, the more pieces, the more value it usually has. I did say it was a short one today. I didn't buy a great deal. I'm pleased with the stuff that I got. The, the halls are going to get smaller, aren't they? As we go through the winter months, the halls are going to get smaller and that's when the death pile will start shrinking because I, if, I, if I maintain my momentum with listing, which currently means that I list between 50 and 100 a week, and yet I'm only, if I only buy, for example, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this week I have only bought twelve listings. If I'm listing a hundred, I will soon start to work through that death pile. So I don't feel so bad about it anymore. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As I always say, if you've seen anything you've fallen in love with, drop me a line on the email address that's underneath this video and um, and we can sort something out. It may not hit eBay for a while. Some of the stuff I bought recently has gone on fairly quickly and this is because I haven't, haven't had room to put it away in the unlisted stock so I've just listed it straight away. But some of the stuff is taking a long time and some of it is at the bottom of the heap and will be for a while. So if you've seen anything you love, drop me a line. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye for now.